we went um we went on friday morning yep. we got we got there like a little late by the time we got there like mostly half of the day was done so all i really did was i went to um they have like an artist alley in like the basement area yep so i went there and like i checked out like a bunch of people that i'm familiar with mm -hmm. then when i went back upstairs to the main hall i i visited the uh the one piece card game shit yep hold on the Time out. Pack. what's going on guys welcome back to episode 71 of the great perfect podcast we might as well start off yet by flame giving us his ax experience so you know, <laughs> something interesting, right? Instead of us talking about the Toby Robo Trio, way. I was say that was very abrupt. Yes, I only just realized. I was like, wait a minute, this is good content. We should keep this in. So I was like, all right, apologies, Flame, but you know, uh, we're here for set episode seventy-one. We're gonna chat about some stuff, uh, Treasure Cruise things. But before we start, you have Flame, myself, and Todd. Night, night will be pulling up a little later. Uh, but you know, I apologize, Flame, but. Please continue your AX adventures. Yeah, so so we pulled up. Um, I checked out some artists on the first day. Then I didn't really have a lot of time left because most of the stuff closed at six PM. So I went I went to the um entertainment hall and the only thing I was really like wanted to check out there was the one piece card game. So I went there. Um they were like having like a big like demo thing where they were teaching people how to play i didn't get to play on the first day so i just got my promotional pack which was cool um went back to the hotel we like we ate you know we basically went to bed early because we had to wake up early for the next day to get there early because you know people are fiends and they line up like three in the morning like weirdos mm -hmm. oh my god what <laughs> demon time <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah so um so then we went the next day um and that next day was where I was basically like in the, the big hall most of the day. Um, the first thing I did was we went to go play the demo for the One Piece card game. Yep. I don't know. It, 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 that game is kind of confusing, to be honest. I don't know if it was just the guy that was explaining it was explaining it weird. But mm. it's like um, if you ever played Magic the Gathering, they have like right. hand cards. Um, yep. And in the One Piece game, they have don cards the don cards are basically like the equivalent of land cards yep mm -hmm. um but it's weird because like you could uh you can like the amount that you have is like the base stuff of the cards that you have in your hand mm -hmm. that's like what you can place but it's like your hp is dependent on like like the card that you pull and the number it has and then you have mm -hmm. to put the cards like in the corner and then like when somebody hits you like you like you remove like one like it's it's weird like i never played some shit like that it's a combination of like heaps of card games because like it's like magic where you got land but the life system is actually very similar to the digimon card game where you have mm -hmm. like the top x cards of your deck at the start of the game just become your life and then mm -hmm. like it's also kind of like dragon ball super where you've got like a leader and the leader has skills and so character is that cards like luck based then if the top cards in your deck are your life or how does that work yeah so like leaders will have different life values so you've got like some leaders that are four some of them are five right and then you take the top four or top five of your deck oh. after you've drawn your your hand goes yep. to the life pile and basically okay. every time you're dealt damage the card from the life pile gets added to your hand right um but some cards have effects where if they're sent from the life pile to your hand you can trigger an effect and activate right. the card straight away depending on what it is yeah yeah okay interesting yeah so so we did that they gave us like a demo they gave us the demo deck and more packs so i just got like a bunch of them so you know if anybody wants one you know selling them for 1k hey yo. <laughs> <laughs> hey that's too cheap that's too cheap <laughs> no nah, but um so yeah we did that um there was two things that like i like i made a list of like a bunch of stuff that i wanted to pick up while i was there there's yeah. two things I wasn't able to get. One of them was an art book because the artist sold out really quick and she didn't bring any for like the following days. So yeah, I wasn't able to get that. The other, I was I was actually kind of mad because um, there's an artist I follow on Twitter. They're like really popular. Is that and Chasu they were doing like or whatever? Was that no, the first one? I well, I met Chasu. Nice. Um, but this isn't for either of them. It's uh, Mika Picasso. Right. Okay um she was actually doing autographs there 
on like a new like Evangelion X Pixiv book. Right. And when I got there, I should have <clears throat> I should have went on the first day. They were like, Oh yeah, the ticket sold out like ten minutes ago. I was like, fuck. No, <laughs> of no course. More. Of course. Yeah, so I missed out on that. But yeah, I ended up getting um everything else that I wanted. I got like uh I made a video on it. I got like some figures, mm-hmm. I got some got some merch. Mm-hmm. Um and it was really fun. Um other than my ears popping, I'm I was happy <laughs> I went. I'll probably go again next year. Yeah, totally. Awesome. Good, good stuff. I know Boris was there, and yep, uh, yeah, I didn't even know he was there. I would have tried to meet him. Well, I had a, I mean, a Twitter conversation with Boris, and he said that he's down to hop on the show and talk about it. So I might reach out to him for the next episode and see if we can, because I'll be going to Sm- uh, Sydney, like Smash in Sydney, so the like Sydney manga and anime festival thing. Okay, next week. Like next weekend, sorry. So um, you know, maybe we'll have a little anime convention convention story awesome. episode coming up. If we can get Boris on. Mm. If not, fuck Boris. No, I'm joking. Yeah, because <laughs> Roger's base was there as well. Uh, Rose yeah, was, was there. Bro, Boris got a photo with like Shofu and I was so jealous. I was like, oh, fuck yeah, you, Shofu man. was there too. And I was yeah. like, fuck you, man. But uh no, that'd have been uh, I'm AX is sick. It just, it just looks fun. Like just in general. Like aside from all the anime, it just looks like a like it just looks like a lot of the people in our circles, not like like first hand circles, but like people you just like know of, kind of just like go there, and you're just like, oh okay. yeah, it would be cool to like meet those kinds of people there for sure. Yeah, the uh, like the to put it on like a scale, like the New York anime, like it's uh, it's in a place called the Javits Center. Yeah, um, it holds like up to like thirty, like thirty to forty thousand people. Right. The Anime Expo in Los Angeles is in the Los Angeles Convention Center. It holds up yep. to 150,000 people. Shit. Bro, is that the, it's yeah. like those pics on Twitter. Like, it's just a fucking... It's just a wave. Like, it was just a solid block of people just trying to enter or just walk around. Like, Jesus Christ. So yeah, many it's people. The, it's the biggest It's the biggest anime convention in the States. I'd probably say biggest anime anime convention potentially, like period. To be honest with you, probably. Yeah, <laughs> probably. I wouldn't be shocked if that was the case. No, not at all. Well, that's wonderful. Good stuff there. Um, I mean, I know it's a Trader Cruise app, but I know Todd's been getting super into the One Piece card game, doing a little bit of mm. scanning. What are your initial thoughts on the um, uh, One Piece card game? Yeah, it's pretty fun actually. Um, Jacob and I actually played yesterday on Tabletop Simulator. Oh, cool. Um, we had a bunch of the starter decks and we're playing around testing all of them out. And yeah, it's actually pretty good. Um, Coming from other card games, because yeah. I've played Yu-Gi-Oh! and Digimon and stuff like that, it's pretty slow um, okay. initially until you get to like turn four or five. And by that time, uh, all of your Don is basically on the field. And that's when you can start dumping all your stuff on the field and going for big swings and stuff. Yeah. But um it seems like it's really slow at the start and then once you get all your don on the field you can hit really hard and you can activate all your effects and then basically once all the dons on the field the game ends relatively quickly from that point onwards but it's uh it's pretty fun actually and it's just it's cool to you know like the one piece has its own card game now you know we've had all these other card games and finally one piece gets some representation and the cards look really cool as well yeah, um they actually just revealed the secret rares of the first set the shanks and the yamato i also saw that uh that twitter thread you put in of like the tournament winning cards rare or, like the tournament placing cards sorry and all of those are really sick as well yeah they're going out of their way to already organize tournament stuff like the official yeah. set releases on the 22nd of july and they've got a tournament set up for like the 6th of august that's not a lot of time. I mean, maybe for like yeah. people that are like into TCG, you can kind of, you could probably like pick it up like maybe a lot faster, but like mm. that's a quick turn. That's a pretty like, that's like what, like two, three weeks to turn around, <laughs> get a deck together or whatever it is. Like what's the, uh, I guess, I don't know how much you know, but like what's like the rulings? Like, is there a card limit? Is that like a, is then what are the specifics to like what you can and can't have? Yeah, like, I believe you need 50 cards, like 50 Jesus. main deck cards. Okay. So... Yeah, I mean, most of the, it's not too bad because most people are probably just going to be basing their decks off of the starter deck and then using cards from the main set to supplement their starter right. deck. So it yeah. shouldn't be too difficult to actually put a deck together, but yeah. it'll be interesting to see like how the meta evolves around it. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. I think that's like, I'm, I'm still like, I don't think I'll play it, but there's now yeah. getting more and more like 
maybe I do like collect a little bit, you know, just pur- purely because of the, the whole One Piece thing, mm. naturally. And um, like I mean, I, I I just hope that like I think you mentioned as well on Twitter, but I really do hope that like the the international release kind of gets the same love and attention. Yeah, in in itself as well. Uh, so hundred like, percent on that front. But that's awesome. No, that's good. I think okay. Question then: Do you think that obviously the the game got like a helper app? Mm-hmm. Do you think that the game will eventually get like a full fledged like online slash app app variant of the of the game itself, similar to like Duel Links or like Master Duel or you know the Magic the Gathering online game, like that kind of deal? Um, I would say no not right now i mean if they if they would do it it would take quite a few years i heard through the grapevine that apparently the digimon card game is getting some type of online client Ooh. eventually so if that game gets it then one piece will also eventually get it but also digimon has been relatively popular there's um spreadsheets that um kind of gauge how popular a certain card game is right in um around the world and currently like Magic the Gathering super up there. Of course. Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon and stuff. But like the Digimon card game is like rank six or something like that. Six wow. or seven. So okay. it's like it's really high up there. So I think because of its popularity, they probably went ahead and did that. Um whereas mm-hmm. like the Dragon Ball card game is like rank tenth or something. Right. So I mean it's... you got Dokkan for that. It's fine. Same thing. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> yeah, true. Digimon doesn't have a lot of representation these days, so yeah. all the Digimon yeah. fans are all on it. No, it's good. I'm keen. I, I think if, if it got an online variant, I'd be like super gassed because that would be a little like an easier step to kind of go into. Yeah. Like, as opposed to buying the physical stuff. But then again, having the physical cards is always is always sick. Plus, you know, it is one piece. So like it, you know, and these arts go hard though. Like, I don't know. They're like, whoever's illustrating this shit is fucking popping off. Yeah, some of the like, custom art they get for these cards are freaking sick. Like, this is, Otter's just in the basement. That's what we've been doing this month. <laughs> He's been sat there drawing all the cards up. What have you guys been doing this month on Treasure Cruise? Fucking nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Fucking jack shit. <laughs> like, since the Kizuna ended, basically nothing. Farm the point event on auto in 20 stam, and that's yeah. about it. <laughs> to call it a day. Maybe some PvP here and there. Done. They didn't have no arena, no blitz battle. That like, that that was interesting. That was, it was very usually weird. it's one or the other. It's never yeah. both. So Hey, it's welcome back to the Let's Talk About Legends podcast <laughs> with, with the release of the Toby Ropo Trio. This, for me, came out of nowhere. Yeah, this I is had weird. no anticipation that Black Maria, Sasaki, and Husu were going to get three separate legends. In one batch. In one batch combined. Like, it, Jesus. It just didn't make a lot of sense. I mean, it made it would have made sense if they went down the Impel Down route. I, I think that's what they should have done. What was the point of this whole Kazuna with, like, yeah. Magellan and, and Hannibal and you're getting this? You could have... Imagine, like, honest... I know people are like, oh my god, it's not a Luffy legend. But imagine, like, a prison, like, an Impel Down Luffy legend or something like that. You know? Right. At least it would have been, like, something a little bit more unique. Uh, like, they, they could have done uh, Ivankov. They could have done a Jinbei, maybe. Although yep. I feel Jimbei will yep. probably get a one or a legend at some point. But so. like, imagine a Jimbei, a Jimbo legend from Impel Down or something like that. You know, like that'd have been tight yeah. as hell. You know, freaking Sadie legend. It's time <laughs> make that happen, right? I mean, yeah, they could have done a <laughs> lot, but no, but they no, went back we to Wano. Back to Wano, yay! Um, three legends. I just want to quickly get up how many legends we're at now. Yeah. So as I'm loading my Excel sheet up. We have a total of, I believe, if I have counted correctly, 179 legends in the game. Oh my god! And Flame, would you like to take? Would you like to take a guess as to the average days per legend, all the way from V1 Whitebeard until now? Uh, when it, when, when I have changed. Until like right now, until the next legend releases, but I'm just counting it from the release of. Actually, I haven't. No, I have put them in. I have put in Super Ten and Blackbeard, so we're fine. Don't stress. Uh, so how many days per legend, or like how many days until we get a new legend on average in Treasure Cruise? Yeah, twelve. Is it twelve? Yeah. What do you think, Todd? Uh, I would guess around like fourteen still. 
14.8 days per legend since the release of <laughs> V1 Whitebeard. That's done. Now, while let me find where. So let's go from New Year's. Oh, right? no. <laughs> what do you think? So, from the release of Roger Whitebeard. So it starts with Roger Whitebeard's straw hats. 10. <laughs> 8. 6.4. Oh my god. No shot. No shot. 6.4 days per legend. So on I average, know, five <laughs> legends per month is the current average. Yeah. If you're saying a 30 day month. 6.4. That's, that's not right. Gems. Hey. <laughs> um, hey, yo, gems. Yeah, let's get lots of free. But there's lots of free to pay gems. No, there's not. I mean, there is, but there's not. But there also is. But it's like. Just realistically, you can't really pull for everything. You can't keep up. No, you nah. have to start being, in, like, unless like you're genuinely just going to spend like a grand a month on the game, like, by all I mean, means. Like, even have... even me, I didn't. I did not spend a single gem on this banner. No, neither did I. I just, just, I, it just no. Why? There's no. There's no worth. I did my three multis on the TM banner. I got nothing. Yeah. I got Robin though, so that's the only thing that mattered to me at the end of the day because I wanted She's the, the best Robins. one exactly, and also because it's Robin. But like, I mean, I'm missing on that banner Black Maria. I'm still missing Izo and Kiku, and I'm still missing V2 Brook, and I didn't get a single red poster. Not that I'm like, oh, woe is me type deal, but it's just I mean, like that's shit though. It is dog shit, but it's also just like clearly I'm fine without them. You know what I mean? Like. I mean, I know that I can't, I can't clear the the Grand Voyage without Brook, or I can't do this, or I can't... I don't give a shit, man. Like, it doesn't matter to me. Am I still able to clear the content day-to-day? -day? Yes. Like, it, it's no stress. And the way, with the way the Grand Voyage was currently updated, like, it doesn't really matter too much if you can't clear things. At least, you know, fingers crossed. But, yeah, enough enough stalling. Uh... Toby Ropo Trio. Look, I'm a kicker to you all. I don't really want to read these out because I feel it's going to be super fucking boring. But if you guys yeah. think we should, then we probably should. But no, there's no real reason to who read do, them okay, all out. Who do you think... Uh, who, whoever the best one is in your eyes. I, like, would, I, I think Black Maria is sick. I like Black Maria as one of them. Like, I think she's really good. But they're all strong, though. Like, they're, like, that's they the annoying have, part. Is they're all strong. Yeah, they all have, like, components that are good about them. Like, they're not bad legends. They're all like, like five just... captains, like good yeah. specials, like they're very solid characters. Like Black Maria resists paralysis again. <laughs> <laughs> How, I loved. I think I saw a meme on the subreddit, and this is the first time I'm like commenting positively on the subreddit. But someone like posted a meme, and it was just all the quick legends that like remove paralysis, and there's like eight of them or something like that. Like, there's so many legends that remove paralysis. It's really, really dumb. I don't know why it's always quick legend removes paralysis. It's like, all right, but get over that, you know. It is kind of strange that Black Maria is a delayed conditional boost, like. Delayed conditional yeah, boost was... for 2022. Hello? 2.25 for three turns. Otherwise, it's 2x for one turn. Yeah, oh, and they're all super tandem. And their super tandems are weird That's as hell. Okay, that's what we'll talk about. Super tandem. So, yeah. Black Maria's super tandem at level five. And I know we told this to Flame and stuff too, but I want to hear Flame's reaction again when we're actually commenting on it. So, Black Maria's super tandem at level five, because I'm looking at the screenshots because I don't care. When any of the two of the following characters are on the crew... Kaido, King, Queen, Jack, Sasaki, Husu, Page 1, and Ulti. The effect is, applies an attack boost of 2.25x to strength and dex characters for one turn and reduces all defense up duration by two turns. Now, you're probably wondering, well, that must mean that Black Marie is a strength or dex character. No, she's a quick character. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I understand it. But at the same time, like, why not just go out of your way just to make it boost quick as well? It's just dumb. Uh, oh, who, who's who, sorry. Applies, mm -hmm. so same kind of, same conditional, except swap who's who for Black Maria. Applies attack boost of 2.25x to dex and quick characters for one turn and reduces all enemies' a damage reduction uh, duration by two turns. And you must be thinking, Who's who? He's definitely a Dex of Quick character, right? No, he's Strength. Yeah. And then finally, Sasaki. He same same conditional applies two uh, applies attack boost two point two five X to Strength and Quick characters for one turn and reduces all threshold by two turns. 
Again, you must be thinking, wow, this guy must be strength or quick. He's Dex. Yeah. <laughs> so you I, know what that I, means. Get, I get it because you're meant to run all three in a crew. Because they all really do like kind of combine. They, they're they very synergistic with one another. Like they combined yeah. well. And I get that. But first of all, let's just talk about like the, the gem side of things. That's fucked. You're expecting players to pull all three of those legends on dog shit banners. Yep. Each of which requires you to go to 30 multis. So you're doing 90 multis at worst. So 4,500 gems. Australian 4,500 gems would be about two grand. Or just maybe, a, you know what? Yeah, about two grand plus. Heck, maybe even 3K. Are you, <clears throat> what? It's It's just dumb. Like the way that I see it, is that if I hypothetically pulled one of these characters, I would just completely ignore the Super Tandem altogether and basically Correct. act like it doesn't exist. Because Correct. there's there's not too many situations where this effect is going to be useful. Well, I do actually like the effect that they have of removing the defensive effect with the yep. Tandem effect. Like That's pretty cool, but yep. it's just not going to see play. Also, to add on top of that, they're all super class powerhouse. Yep, four legends in a row, super class after re- <laughs> After releasing TM oh. Blackbeard, who is also a super class powerhouse. Yep. So I don't understand why or who or what or whoever the fuck is designing this stuff is a moron. I'm a I'm a keep it a a, a stack. Yeah. Because this Literally is ridiculous. Makes zero sense. It's I so get the whole point. Like, like, I think it was inevitable that like these three characters were going to get legends. Yes. But why could they not have released... I'm going to kick it to you. It would have been so much cooler if they had... And people would probably got mad as well, and I don't care. But it would have been so much cooler if they had released these characters the same way as the sweet commanders were released. Uh, like, yeah, probably. The three of them in one legend, and then maybe you can do another legend, like, you know, like a second legend to release as well. That way, you give these three characters this the Toby Ropo legend. They have the super tandem that's going to be effective to strength decks and quick or whatever the case is for them. They have the super class powerhouse if they want to do that too. B- but instead, we have three different le- like three legends. And mind you, like I, I feel like gauging legends right now is very challenging in the game because yeah. there's like really nothing to gauge things off. And these days, due due to the excuse me, sorry. Due to the variety of characters that we have, it's very easy to clear content without the legend really shining at all. Right. Because you can just bring a friend captain that was built to clear the content. And now you're already one step in. Bring a rare recruit or two that can clear all the debuffs. The legends these days are minimum 5x. So your yeah, damage is... That's the thing. It doesn't matter like, as well. Legends these days are all so strong that they can all pretty much clear everything. But it's more like, you know, the the content that comes out in that month, obviously the new batch is going to be very useful for that, but you don't need them to clear it. It's like it, the point boosters and stuff like that. That's the only real value no. that you get out of these characters. I will say that it's going to sound a bit weird, but I think I, I definitely prefer the turtle Island to the point farming. Yeah, I would agree. Well, now that, now that we have on... level limit break for yeah. sure, but like purely because it's drop based, so like yeah with at least because you can get lucky like the whole reason why i i I order the lowest stam is because if i run a team with only a friend captain booster that's a minimum of five to eight drops assume the lower end if i get four you can you can hypothetically get like four drops on the lowest stam island Mm -hmm. that's nine drops total that's still uh, over a hundred runs but I'm doing 100 runs at the lowest stam variant and I do it passively over time. So I get my stam naturally regenerates as well. So I'm spending way less resources and I'm spending way less time actively consuming the game, which might be counterintuitive, but at the same time, it eases my mind because I can relax a little bit. There's no stress of having to farm the content very hard, which is again, what I would say is to the benefit of the game at the moment, is that the way that they're doing free-to-play characters is excellent purely because you don't need to farm for the materials or farm for multiple copies or oh, yeah. whatever the case may be. It's really good for beginners. As you just as long as you get a copy of the character, 
like it comes with max skill you don't have to worry about it and max then skill, if you have yeah. regular liberate materials you just use that to max their, their limit break i guess i was surprised that tm didn't follow the same route as well yeah it's I was still kind technically of, uh, the same like you still need specific materials yeah i was kind of expecting them to change that but they do need you to farm for something Correct. But I guess dupes could have also filled that void too. But, but at the same time, they give you, th for some reason, they give you three copies at one mil and then the remaining copies at 1.5. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Which doesn't make much sense. Why would you not just say, all right, here's the one mil, here's all your copies, be on your merry way, I suppose. Yeah. Um, I know that this isn't like the usual way we talk about legends, but I'd much rather not read three characters off and spend 15 minutes on each character and have this podcast go for three hours when it doesn't really need to and i apologize if you don't like that and you want us to read every character let us know in the comments below and we can go back to doing that but we kind of just felt like unfortunately what like i'm a i'll break the fourth wall we've had conversations and we're kind of like a little over the fact that every treasure cruise ep is just us reading off characters consistently because yeah. it doesn't make for good content or good entertainment in terms of listening and we do understand that there are people that are listening to these apps that are like you know i just like listening or chiming in or just hearing your guys opinions and we respect that and we appreciate it however it's very mind-numbing for me to sit there and read it and i'm sure for the other guys who just sat there listening to me read and this captain boosts strength dex and quick by 5.25 it's probably mind-numbing for them as well so we're gonna take the approach of if there's like one or two legends that have come out and like they're really unique or really interesting, we'll read them out and like dive, like delve into them. But the fact that like these three legends came out as like a like just quick swell, and it's they're all kind of like they're all unique naturally. But like I don't know, they're just not. I'm not interested. Like I, this is like mm. probably one of the first batches of the year. It's like I'm just looking at the characters. I'm like I don't really care. No, whether or not they exist. It's exactly right. Like, and like not like yeah you, you're right like there's nothing really unique about them and like yeah we talked about the super tandem which is interesting at say the least but nothing really if they had outlandish. All, like covered different aspects the fact that they're all super class powerhouse just bodes to the fact that they want you to use the three of them in combination with each other but they restrict you from doing that because you need to pull all three or, yeah. or, or at least two of them and you can run a friend captain i guess at the end but of the like, day, you can still use them for what they are for their exactly captain right. and their They're special. Like, regardless. Black Maria's got great a great captain that that works really well, getting rid of paralysis and also uh, boosting HP and recovery, which is kind of understated. Yep. And then like a special ability that can do orb changing, health cut, yep. orb boost, and then a delayed conditional boost. Like she's this very is good. good. Very, very good. And I think Sasaki's well, like he can go up to like a five point four X captain. He's just he's raw like, damage. He's just really, really strong. Who's who's damage also, dealing seen, special and i've seen like, who's who clear like grand voyage as well yeah who's who's um like kind of like a speedy captain yeah um i don't know who's who's definitely the one i'm not that excited about i would agree personally. with you too i would agree because like he, say, yeah. he, he he's basically a speed captain he does have like the uh v2 akanu effect where if you hit a certain amount of perfects he doesn't have turned damage yeah yeah which um is cool. it's it's neat but it's not too great in today's day and age because of normal attacks only yeah, but it's the only special ability is the resilience. Sorry, that's about it. You know, it's a free resilience to move around. Well, while Todd's muted himself, the goober. Um, no, yeah, I, I'll, 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 <laughs> I'll click it to you, Flame. I don't know if you've actually like, probably read these characters or you have like uh, uh, like an opinion on them per se. But like, what? How do you feel about? Yeah, no. So I the was three of them I was, off. while you were talking. I was actually reading them. Yeah. Um, I mean, in my opinion. Uh, Black Maria is definitely the better of the I three. Would, yeah, hundred um, percent agree. None, none of none of them are bad, but like, yeah, her <clears throat> her <clears throat> multipliers and stats are inherently higher than all of theirs. Plus, she does all. so much. She does so much with her kit as well. Yeah, like, I feel like I there's a like you, if if you had to pick one of them, I I would say probably Black Maria is the one that I'd want the most. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, because I was gonna say who's who and Sasaki have what both of them have a gimmick to them opposed to her mm. where she's more like just a flat damage mm -hmm. um, i just so and, and then plus i mean even though a lot of like you guys said earlier a lot of the units have the quick paralysis shit yeah i mean even though a lot of units have it that, that doesn't make it bad it's just it's just naturally yeah it's still good 
Uh-huh. It just would have been nice yeah. if like it wasn't always a quick captain. I think is the, what the like what the annoying part is. It's always a quick character yeah. that has the paralysis. Another really cool thing about Sasaki that a lot of people forget about is his super class special is kind of cracked because he applies the fifty percent um, resistance down to the enemy, wow. so you get like basically a one point five attack boost. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, it's really good. Kind of nuts, and the fact that he has that and a five point four captain, and he's an attack booster and a base attack booster. This may just hit hard. As well, his crewmate ability: if captain is strength or quick, reduces reduces crew's burn duration by two turns. Yeah, they all have really good crewmate abilities. Yeah, captain is dex or quick. Redu- Jesus Christ, they're all fucking not that bad. They're all look. So the only bad one is who's who's because like <laughs> he's got a cooldown reduction special and he only resists special reverse if you got a dex or quick captain that's cringe that's it's so, so bad Look, yeah man, it's hard to no. make a bad legend it really is oh bendai are kind of good at it though <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna say um that thing, i don't know if we talked about this last last optc podcast or not but yeah the thing about this batch is it's it's clearly a filler batch like if, if yeah. you've if yeah. you've played this game for a while, you guys should know that um uh what what is it? Uh I was gonna say French Annie, uh One Piece Day. One Piece, One Day. Piece Day is this month. And most likely it's gonna suck for a lot of us, but it's very likely that JP OPTC is gonna get all the film red stuff, so we're probably all gonna get spoiled. <laughs> um, sure. Yeah. Um so it's yeah. probably gonna be like a double like two th- those are definitely gonna be two batches you're gonna wanna be looking forward to. Mm-hmm. So I would definitely wouldn't pull on this. <laughs> well, I guess I'll throw it out to any final notes because we've got a great segue there then. No, we're good. All right. It's kind of mid. Yeah, kind of mid. Don't pull on them. If you pull them passively, that's fantastic. If not, who gives a shit? Great segue from Flame though. It has been confirmed, I believe, that the OPTC and Film Red collab will commence July 22nd. And... From the news that's been presented, it includes stages, quests, and limited limited time characters that appear in the movie. And then supposedly, after the release of the film, there will be more collaboration between Film Red and Treasure Cruise. Yes. Yep. So. That's pretty why neat. Would you, why would you pull on these characters? <laughs> exactly. When we have a potential new legend Shanks or legend Uta or most likely a legend Luffy. But like those characters probably going to be pretty cracked in my opinion they, yeah i'm expecting well, multiple sugo fests for the movie probably i this is the moment to six plus the other movie legends it is time it's this oh, is man. the moment they won't do it because of the whole the new way that like a uh, six pluses are done but this is the chance to do it because they have this big ass film celebration again so why not do it well, you know what's kind of interesting is that uh one piece bounty rush just brought in Shiki to their game that's what i'm saying and they added voice in in that game to shiki whereas treasure cruise doesn't have the shiki's voice yet maybe that new license renewal <laughs> they got the film so, renewal bing <laughs> i mean at a bare minimum i hope that we get level limit breaks for the movie legends that would be pretty good bare minimum uh, has to has to get that maybe your tesoro will actually be good again I know, I've got him Limit Break Plus, he's level 150, he's good to go. <laughs> he's ready to go. <laughs> i got all my movie legends at uh, level max that's, level Limit Break. Hey, that's, so. that's four videos right there, boss. I know, I can't wait. I hope Dude, they Bullet's get level Limit Break, oh, let's oh, go. Oh man, Bullet's going to be cracked. He's going to be like, have like 10,000 attack, he's going to be fucked. <laughs> the guy's going to be too strong. Holy. But it's exciting that it starts July 22nd. Like all the yeah. the preamble stuff, it is like actual like because like I think there was like a photo that they posted that like the collaboration is going to happen between like a bunch of like One Piece like IPs. Yep. Um, Bounty Rush, Treasure yeah. Cruise, and then yep. like some unknown ones were not listed yet. But. Some like I'm guessing that's potentially clothing. I don't know what the first one is there. I can't read the Japanese. Can't be bothered. It's kind of. <laughs> Can you post it? Let me see. This mid Flam's going to read Japanese. It's time. It's time. Really? Um, there you go. But uh, you have that. Then you have Bounty Rush on the fourth of August, which is kind of interesting that it's like two weeks after Treasure Cruise gets their stuff. Um, hmm. which is two days before Film Rev drops as well. Kind of weird that I mean, maybe like oh, Treasure Cruise is going to do the cringe thing where it's like 
We're gonna get the Suga. We're gonna get the news and the Suga Fest. It's all gonna happen before the end of the month and blah blah blah. blah. Like the the type type deal. But so, uh, remind me again. What day is One Piece Day? Twenty second. There you go. Poggy. <laughs> Perfect then. So it all kind of lines up for Treasure Cruise. I'm expecting a Super Suga Fest. I wouldn't be shocked. Like, I'd... I can see them doing maybe, like, a... Fil- like, so the way that I see it is maybe a film Sugo first on the 22nd, just a normal yep. Sugo, yep. and then a Super Sugo on the 6th when the movie comes out. The only reason why I would say it's a Super Sugo first is because kind of, like, it's it's One Piece Day, and, like, it's a, it's an easy cash grab opportunity. Hey, yep. here's a Super Sugo first. It's half decent, and you can pull all your Super Sugo characters again. And that means that like the the Boa, Nami, and Hancock unit ma- will make pre- probably make a comeback as well. Oh yeah, good point. Like, and it kind of makes sense because I agree with you. I feel like it would be in their best interest to re- like they could do a really cool like film like a One Piece movie Suga Fest where like all the film characters are guaranteed at like super early stages. Or I what doubt they'll that's do is like. They'll just do what they did with Yamato, release six star Uta, and then on the on the six no, they have like no, an additional part where you can pull no, the six star plus version. No, <laughs> no. Or, or I I have a strange bullet, feeling that's what bullet. they're gonna do. <laughs> pull a bullet, <laughs> yeah. Pull a bullet. Yeah, I have a feeling they'll do it. To be honest, well, as much as I'd hate it, was coming. I'd prefer them to do the bullet route than the Yamato route. They could go down a couple different routes. But it's I'm excited for it. I think it'll, it'll be fun. What if Uchi and then like it'll be a legend. bunch of other events too. Like it should be hopefully an arena. Hopefully oh, maybe, maybe blitz. a blitz. There's gonna be yeah. a fucking blitz. Cringe. Maybe maybe Shanks get a six plus. And actually, no, he won't because we already know the six oh, plus man. for this month. I'm excited for this. Uh, we'll six get to plus. a little later. But um, what do you guys? I mean, I'm assuming. What, so what's your predictions for the film Red Legends? I would, where are you guys heads at for that? feel like uta surely fingers crossed right um i think a lot of people want shanks but i have a feeling that they won't do shanks as a legend i feel like he'll be free to play i kind of feel like it's gonna be the opposite way around you reckon i feel like shanks will get a legend and then they'll jip everyone and make uta like a free to play character no that doesn't make much sense because i feel like uta has more of a selling point than i shanks mean Uta's does. basically the main character of the film but shanks is also super fucking popular yes so like, he is I feel like that's a good I, point. Two legends. <laughs> I think I think we're gonna get Uta Luffy and Shanks because you know Bandai. <laughs> <laughs> good cho- hey, you know the vibes, man. You know Luffy. You know the well, vibes, maybe man. there's an event. There's an event uh, yeah. where you can super evolve like, Stampede oh, Luffy oh, and want- he becomes the film Red Luffy. No, I mean I'll be down because yeah. that dick ass art disappears, but right? like <laughs> They're gonna hit you with the oh you want another gear for Luffy? Oh we got oh, you. Oh yes, please. <laughs> Give me another gear for Luffy. I beg of you. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't wait. Please. No, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it because it's going to be fun. I hope it's going to be enjoyable. I hope the campaign is, re- like, again, greedy, I know, but I hope the campaign is rewarding. Like, it's not just like, here's the login campaign that's 15 days long, you get 20 gems. But it's actually like, it's a film celebration. Let's celebrate One Piece and One Piece Day and all that kind of stuff and actually you know, give the funny. players something. I just looked up on the calendar. Our next Treasure Cruise episode is like literally the weekend the movie comes out. Ooh. So we should have a lot to talk about. Yeah. Very Actually, nice. wait, you're having like, uh, like a producer video type of thing? We might do mm-hmm. that. No, no, no. I'm asking, is that what they're doing? No, they're no I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, that far. I mean, that'd be cool, but... Oh, I, oh, you, meant, I oh you meant podcast. Our podcast yeah. app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, we'll, okay. The weekend of the film releasing, so... Yeah. Um, okay, okay. Do you know if it's coming to Australia, Todd, or if it has been announced? Yet? Uh, it it will be, but I don't know when. That's cringe. They already announced the Dragon Ball movie is coming out to Australia on the eighteenth of August. Interesting. So yeah, I just so... I assume it'll be September for us. What? That's not fun. I'll just translate it live. There you go. We'll do <laughs> a, cool. we'll do a watch, we'll do a watch along of the of the film. We'll just get like a ripped copy, allegedly. Get a pirated copy. You know, <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. And we'll, we'll do a watch along together with everyone. I'm keen. I'm excited. I like movie legends. I mean, Bullet's my favorite legend. So, like, maybe Uta will replace Bullet. Who knows, right? Give, give <laughs> or, another, or not. Give us another rainbow damage captain. So, like, a rainbow, like, affinity captain. I'm in. 
Let's actually, make it happen. <laughs> something that was interesting is that they actually revealed um one of Uta's cards for the One Piece card game. Right. So I was wondering if, like, what if the abilities of the card, like, translate to Treasure Cruise in some sense? Has anyone translated it yet? Or yeah, so the it? effect of Uta is that she's a blocker. So she blocks an, an attack. And then whenever she blocks something, she can put one of your opponent's characters to rest. So basically, like, stops them from it. So she blocks one attack, and then she can make another card not attack for the turn. So so that could potentially translate into, like, a Mera Mera ability? She's like, you're yeah, ultra defensive or utility based, probably. Like a Mera Mera ability where if she takes a certain amount of damage, she ends up like blocking out the, or like putting an ability for like 15 combo hits, like the same way that Boa does. Mm. Or she could do like a paralysis thing where she par paralyzes the enemy. And maybe she can do a conditional boost on that. Mm -hmm. That could be could interesting. Be. Or yeah. she could just be standard Rainbow 5X Captain. 2.5x attack boost <laughs> type deal. Oh my god. Super class shooter. Ooh. Let's make Uta I mean, the, the super class shooter character. <laughs> well, shooters are the only class that don't have a super class yet, I think. <laughs> That's right. Give her a gun. <laughs> Uta with a gun. There you go. <laughs> we're, we're set. With a gun. <laughs> with a gun. All right. That's it. Uh, awesome. Cool, sweet, wonderful, new level limit breaks. <laughs> hey. Yep. Um, these are juicy. We start so it with... It was like Rob Lucci? Yep. Rob Lucci. So his captain ability now reduces the special charge by two turns at the start of the quest. Boost power has characters attacked by 5.25 when matching slot 5x otherwise but sets cruise recovery to zero at the start of battle three. He reduces character special charge time by five turns and his special has now changed to 300 X character attack and non damage to all non type damage to all enemies and immensely boost. Uh, fuck off. They use the word immensely boost cruise <coughs> chance. Immense. Of Just immensely boost cruise chance of landing on their own slot for three turns. Boost powerhouse attack for one turn based on the number of uh, specials used by the character so 2.25x uh, flat rate. If you use it one time, it goes to 2.5. If you use it two times, it goes to 2.75. And that's about it. And so he's you still limit, dog shit. If you, if you expand his limit break, he goes down to a five-turn cooldown. That's fucked, actually. That's the crazy thing. Because normally, yeah, it's like it doesn't look that good. But then when you realize he gets like minus eight cooldown from his uh, expansion. So wait. Pretty cracked. If you get two turns of cooldown from... Uh, sockets. You get a turn of cooldown from your ships. So that's three. Yeah, he reduces cooldown by two turns. So yeah, that's yeah so it. he's ready. Uh, as so you as can you pop enter. it. You can wave clear, and then stay sure you get his special back. So you wave clear again. And then I guess you have to stall if you wanted to get his special back for the final turn. And then also, when you launch the special, you get the high chance of slots for like three turns three or whatever. Turns. So, like, he's a pretty decent captain with the expansion like Pretty that's the quick. only time i'd actually use him he's a speed captain like, like, yeah he, essentially he, he, he's like a he's like a wave clear captain like, you bring him to the quest just bink bink like and he's powerhouse hey you can use him with who's who or something like that oh uh, yeah you could if you wanted actually no you probably want to use him with any of the other two characters because then he gets super tender boosted <laughs> with who's who or you doesn't. could use them as subs and still use luchi as the captain oh that's even better um he's pretty cool i guess um yeah it's it's decent like yeah, I, it's like decent. That, that's the thing with most of the level limit breaks like i don't think it's gonna make them see a lot of play but it just makes them no. usable it makes them very usable yeah uh, so he's good captain usop so six plus usop his captain ability is adds one turn to all enemies for each battle after preemptive and makes shooter characters strength dex quick sight in 10 recovery could they not have just said all slots <laughs> um because technically it's not all slots because of like bomb and bomb empty and yeah slots have matching effect and boost their attack by 4.75 when hp is 30 percent or less 4x otherwise that's cringe um <clears throat> special so, yeah. all enemies hp by 10 percent doubles shooters character slots for four turns if crew has a slot boost when the sh uh, special is launched boost their uh, doubles their attack for four turns and then delays all enemies for one turn if they have immunity to delay. Immunity 
all stats effects or immunity and so it delays through all of them sorry is what i should have said that's interesting i didn't notice that so it it says like provides a delay to oh. immunity or immunity to delay or immunity or delays to all five the other turns otherwise yeah but like the fact that it, it says like three different types of immunity normally it would just be like immune to delay and immune to everything but it also lists oh, so immunity excluding that... certain status effects which which is that kizuna one that kizuna one wow yeah. okay so it's guaranteed to be one delay no matter what that's cool that's he's, cool. he's pretty he's pretty good again as, as i'm not probably gonna see a lot of play because he's shooters made just for great voyage shit. even though that got debunked yes. in about six hours but <laughs> i think it's it's cool that he has like again very weird that it's four turns because like it doesn't cover two sta- it covers two stages but like if it was five turns you could you could maybe eke out three state like you know like it's a very weird design definitely not using double usopp you're definitely hybrid yeah, bringing double Usopp captains a death wish. He's usable though. He is very usable though. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Not bad. Six plus Barto. Uh, captain good. ability boost driven and striker by four point five x HP one point two thirty percent damage reduction when damage reduction effect except threshold is applied to your crew launches his special at the start of the crew's next turn. Special launches due to captain ability will not charge. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um. So he launches his special if you have a damage reduction effect on your crew. And then his special is can't be carried for one turn and doubles driven and striker characters attack and slots for one turn. If after one turn, uh, sorry, after one turn doubles the type effect of normal attacks for driven and striker characters for one turn. Probably, probably the worst one, I think, He's out of the batch. Okay. I I get the I guess I get the premise because you'd like you'd pop a special that gives you the damage reduction, and it pops his special that makes you immune to defeat, gives you an attack and orb boost, and then you go to the following turn, and then you get a conditional boost. Like it's still restrictive though to driven and strike. Like I'm sure there's better. There's probably gonna be some type of use for his special, like as a sub, maybe. It can't be KO'd thing, I guess, is where the value is, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, getting like a two times attack and all boost, and then after one turn, get color affinity. So if like the enemy reacts to color affinity on the last stage, you can use it on the stage prior. Right. Like, there'll yeah. be some uses for it, but not right now, at least. Definitely not. These are all no. like very Grand Voyage developed specials, is what it Yeah, I'm sure they'll be like. good later on. Yeah. yeah um hakuba or six plus cavendish so captain ability reduces character special charge time by three turns at the start of the quest boosts strength decks and quick characters by 4.5 and boosts himself by five point approximately 5.25 uh he's special 100x characters attack and non-type damage to all enemies removes all beneficial effects placed on the crew but completely removes uh paralysis from the, from the character so from himself Changes character's slot to quick, so his own slot to quick, including block slot. Locks his slot for two turns and boosts his attack and orbs by 3.5x for two turns. Yeah, Cavendish is still shit. Yeah. Um, he I basically gives himself a self Toki effect. But then I could just bring Toki and give two characters that effect. Yeah, correct. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, like I it, guess if you're running like a driven team, maybe, and like you want to beat some strength mini boss, because like we already know how much damage Toki can give your characters. Yeah. And if you can have this on a random quick character, like if there's a really annoying strength boss, you just yeah. pop this, and it removes beneficial effects. So again, might have some kind of usage, but a little bit too niche. Is he driven? Sorry. He's slasher driven. So maybe like. I guess you could probably run Barto and him in tandem. Yeah, actually, that's true. Pop Barto no, it... for the previous turn, get through it. Next turn, you get the conditional boost. Sorry, the uh, color affinity boost. And then you pop his special and he gets a 3.5x attack and orb plus the color affinity. Yep. Oh, actually, no, never mind. Because when you pop his special, he removes all beneficial effects. Oh, anyway. yeah, true. <laughs> Thank- anyway. Thanks, Cavendish. Thanks, Cavendish, you Dimwit. Now this is what I'm excited for because I actually haven't read any of these yet. But V1 Old mate Jimbo, Jimbo, big Jimbo, shout out Knight wherever he's a slow work boss man. Um, uh, Jimbo's 
uh, Captain Ability now. Boost fighter and boost fighter characters attack by approximately 5x with matching slot. 4.25x otherwise. Boost the HP by 1.5x and reduces incoming damage by 15%. And he's special. I believe um oh, I believe with the expansion his captain ability gets upped as well. I think Ooh, it goes to like five point two five or five point five and then like four point five otherwise. Wow, okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, for uh, sure. Special uh one hundred fifty X attack in it damage to all enemies, changes excuse me, got a burp. Changes fighter <laughs> characters slots to characters own type and reduces all defense up and damage reduction except threshold by five turns. If your captain is a is is a fighter class, reduces crew's attack down duration by five turns and doubles the type effect of normal attacks for fighter characters for one turn. Not bad. Jinbei is really good. Yep. But you need mm, to get to one hundred and fifty though to get that special, <laughs> which is kind of <clears> the <throat> tough part to, for a lot of people. Yeah. But the attack I mean, down reduction is great. Yeah, That's I mean cool. attack down, blue shield, rainbow shield removal. He's three not bad. Really, three really common debuffs. And color affinity too. It's and color nice. affinity and, as well. And matching slots. But I guess the annoying part is it's all kind of centered around fighter characters. Yep. And so fighters like, are actually a pretty bad class too. Yeah, if you look that's at the it. issue, I suppose. Well, that's that. That was fun. I, I always get excited when they release they, a new yeah, like, level limit break batch. And I mean, there's also, with, with the potential 6-plus on the way for a certain character, they'll probably get a level limit break as well on debut. So That's a good I'm pretty point. pumped to see that. That's a great point. Um, but again, don't feel obligated to level, lim- to level limit break because this segues right into Grand Voyage Syrup Village, which just got announced, or has, sorry, is released, as a matter of fact. Um, how do you feel about it? Mm. what do you think i think it's good because it's not as hard as some of the other ones that we've had um it's yeah. kind of nice because you don't even actually need any level limit broken characters to beat it there no. are teams that don't have any which is kind of good yeah so for that reason it's good what is kind of annoying though is the rewards um waiting Let's two months chat. for yeah. for these rewards yeah, it's just not right so i'm so there's i don't know where even where to start to be honest with you but i'm happy that it wasn't a blatant reset yes because it gives you the opportunity like for example me i haven't got 25 out of 25 so now that this is i think i'm at 16 i haven't attempted the versus luffy i believe it is so i'm still like one behind so i get like if I get like like a couple on Luffy and I get a couple on this and I like blah blah blah, I'll eventually get to that twenty five threshold. Like that's fine, but I this is a mistake outright. It took you two months of development to release one bit of content, mind you. They said that these con- this content is ex- extremely difficult content, and at the start it was because I believe Korosan was like the first person to actually like clear yeah. it but obviously he's a fat ass whale and he has his 150 usopp and, and strong then, ways yeah exactly you know and he's he's just he's just binking out damage and doing what he needs to do right yeah but then stump gets in the lab starts cooking plenty of other people get in the lab you get in the lab start cooking and now you don't even need legend a uh, legend usopp anymore and chow's did heaps he did like freaking eight teams ten teams exactly some you know sh- shit. like <laughs> so Crazy. this this content that's meant to be super challenging and is meant to use all of your box and blah, blah 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 and the whole point of level limit break was so that you know old characters become viable the content's been immediately debunked so you know you don't even need the character that it was kind of made for yep at the very start so why why yeah, was not- the I don't and get like it. if if you completed all of it, like you beat Kuro and you got to 30, 30 overall points, then <laughs> you got like ten gems total or something. You got in level limit break materials and gems. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> it's just yeah, poor poor design for the rewards, honestly. I, um I don't if know. They rele- it, if they had released like three new quests, like awesome. You know? 
because then you would have gone from the 25 to like 40 and maybe you could have had maybe maybe like they're going to do like every 25 is like a bigger reward but that's going to take us if they're only releasing one per two months and each one is five we need 20 more so that's another eight months we need to get to i feel like two two bosses would have been two or three sufficient. i think is the would be yeah. the nice spot because that's a lot of content to play a lot of team building a lot of trial and error it's a lot of like it's a lot more like difficult content to kind of face but the fact yes. that it took two months and they released one quest doesn't make any sense to me yeah and yeah. it's not fair at all for a lot of players to release five on debut and i mean even after two months like not everyone was able to beat five no but um Considering the, the 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 difficulty of this one compared to the other ones that they had initially released, it just it, it doesn't make sense. So if if they only release one boss every two months, yeah, that's going to be kind of disappointing, especially due to the fact that you know they took away Garp challenges from us. So it's a lot of rewards. They gave and you ten gems in two months, so five gems a month. Garp challenges it's... would give us minimum forty gems a month. Ah, uh, yeah, easily, like... no doubt. But I guess like the the point farming events have been kind of better with their rewards. So they, you, you get like 50 gems from clearing the extra like turtles. Yeah, it was kind of cracked. Which is really good, but like we're in the climate now where 50 gems is peanuts and releasing, we're, we're releasing five legends a month on average. Yeah. <laughs> like 50 gems isn't going to do anything for you, unfortunately. It really isn't. And I'm pretty disappointed that they handled the rewards like this. Here's what I would have done if I was in the dev seat. I would have given players a reset token. Every two months, you get a reset token. Okay. So when you clear this one and you get your 30 medallion reward, you use your reset token. It resets all of your progress and you go back to zero. However, the rewards are now back in place. So you well, can go and re you go and re-clear the 30 again. You get another Super Tenum tablet. And mind you, we need those Super Tenum tablets because we've had literally three... What, how many legends there? One, two. So Luffy, Kaido, Law Kid, so that's four. Blackbeard, five. Black Maria, who's who, Sasaki. So eight legends that have just recently released all Super Tenum characters. Yep. Giving us three, what is it, three or two gold tablets now? I mean, I think we've only gotten two. One from the point farming it on the initial two. on the yep. anniversary. And then, and then this then one here. Grand Voyage, yeah. So where where do we max these characters out? You know? Oh, you gotta pull dupes, man. You just, yeah, sorry, my bad. I'm stupid. But it's just <laughs> like But no, you're right. It is dumb. Like it's really poor design. You, you should have I think a reset token would have been good. Because then I agree. That, that's actually kind of interesting. Because then, if they're only releasing one quest per month, or so per two months, yeah, it's not that much, but then you reset, and you can play all of them again, you get all your rewards back, you get a ton of gems every two months then, and mind you, it's every two months, not every month, so you have to split it in half for your monthly count. I don't see an issue in that. You only get no. one gold tablet, and we have eight legends. Eight legends means it's 32, it's 32 slots to max out. Like, that's going to take you 64 months then of tablets to hand out. That's, that's like six, that's like what, five years? Like, it's, you know, the, the, the metrics are all there to be to suffice. I can't wait for them to release more Super 10 and movie characters and later. Exactly right. They're going to, all, all the six, all the characters that have six pluses, all their six pluses are going to be Super 10s. Here <laughs> we go. But it's just, I don't, I don't know. Like, I'm, I haven't attempted the quest. I haven't looked at it myself. I know that you've released a couple of videos, I believe. Like, yeah. you know, um, it's, it's not that bad. Okay. It's just, I'm, I guess I'm just upset at like, cause grand, it just annoys me to such an extreme because grand voyage was characterized as this like wondrous game mode that like you can complete at your own pace. And, and all those are still true, but the fact that like, the rate of content coming out is so slow and the rewards just like i think maybe it's because like they're thinking um people need time to invest in their characters to get right. them strong enough to beat it right but if you if people have already developed teams they don't even need investments and that's and i guess they can't really predict that i suppose but at the same time 
like I don't know, man. Like they it there's just so much wrong with this Grand Voyage release that it kind of upsets me a lot. It's just it's just I don't know. Like it's it's the whole I mean, it's my saying of one step forward, two steps back, right? Like it's classic. It's just like Grand Voyage was the step forward, but the way they've handled the next release is two steps backwards. Yeah. And I, I, I just really hope that like I mean, I'm I'm happy to be proven wrong, but I guess it really now does come down to well, we're going to expect what the next one will be in, not what it be August, sep- no September. When did this come out? This came out in July. Okay, so then you're going to expect it September then. Wait, what's this for? For the next set of Grand Voyage release. Um, it'll be the end of August. End of August. Okay, like the start of September. Yeah. Yeah, start of September. Yep. Like if they release only one quest at the start of September and it's just like five more medallions, you can get Dex level limit break materials and ten gems. Grand Voyage is a, Grand Voyage is not a dead game mode that you just who gives a shit. Cause everything will just get easier with time as more and more characters come out. Yeah. Unless they unless they do pull some sort of reset thing the same way that chopper missions work. How they're like Short Man missions will be reset on X date or like Grand Voyage missions will be reset on X date. And if you don't have it cleared up to then, well, too bad. Yeah, I would like resets every now and again. Like, like maybe like a, a once a year reset on a lot of content. I think that would be Give a really good way for people to like token. get into the game and uh, like get people playing again. I just want, I think a reset token's a good idea. You can have that one for free, Yoshi. Seriously. Yeah, I, I, I dig that idea. That's not bad. Because... And then, for example, someone like me who hasn't cleared it yet, I can just stack up the tokens, I suppose. Yeah. So then when I clear it, and maybe maybe the tokens only work once a month or whatever the case may be. I don't know. Yeah, like you can only activate one per month or something. Exactly. You know? So like someone who hasn't cleared like myself, I can still gather the resource every month. However, I can at least wait until I've cleared the 30, reset, start again, and then I have to wait a month to reset again. And like... At least have it. You can have a time gate on, so no one's just like spamming, you know, just like clearing again, like five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred gems, which you know would be insane for the economy, right? Not like that's only fifteen fucking multis or some shit. So it's just like, it's uh, I don't know. It's a. Uh, I hate being negative because we're always negative, but it's just tough to be positive. All right, like, move on. Yeah, exactly right. All right, something more positive then. Summer straw hats. <laughs> I'm positive about the Twitter teaser. I like the fact that we've come back to doing that. They they don't do it often enough. Yes, I wish they did it more often. Way more often, as a matter of fact. Yeah, they should. Twitter teaser came out, which is always fun. We had... So we already saw the silhouette of the next TM character, and it fit in with the... I, I I think you what was it you said in your video twenty nineteen manga spread I think it was oh yeah like that. Uh, 1019. 1019. The chap- there you chapter one thousand nineteen yep of the 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 monk one of the one of the color spreads that uh, yep Otto drew and it matched the Frankie so everyone had already kind of fallen into the assumption that all the characters would follow suit and we are almost correct or we are correct pretty much so like yes, we are. all the all the patterns kind of like correspond to one of the straw hats outfits in that photo except for the Zoro one and the Luffy one yeah very weird i don't know interesting maybe interesting choices and maybe they'll be separate in some sense i don't know i'm sure flames excited to hear that the the, the Luffy the Luffy outfit is from Drumroll please Dress Rosa. Welcome back, Let's Dress go. Rosa, to the stage. Another character from Dress Rosa. Um, that's, that's actually one of my favorite Luffy outfits. So I don't really if they release like a raw, like, um, like, like, uh, uh, what is it? Like Luffy on, like, when Luffy is like initially fighting Doflamingo, no gear four bullshit. Like, and they, like, they did a Red Hawk Luffy in that outfit. I'd be. I'd be kind of in for that as a legend. And the Zoro outfit is from Arlong Park. Yeah, odd one there. Which is also Very interesting. Odd. Which I'm kind of down for if they release like a Luffy legend from Just Rosa and a Zoro legend from Arlong Park. That'd be pretty cool in my opinion. That'd be so weird considering they're supposed to be doing a summer celebration. So I don't know how I feel about that. Unless if it's like, it'll just be summer themed and they just gave them like 
no Luffy in his Dressrosa shirt and like uh, Zoro in his Arlong Park shirt. Like, That's it. Zoro and Luffy are present in the color spread. Yes. And I but guess they're wearing like board shorts. Yeah. So could you not have just put the color of the board shorts then? Like I, I'm. I like, know oh, it's hard to see. It's because like I guess the board Luffy's wearing like some red orangey ones. Zoro's wearing just some green ones. So you can kind of make it out, I suppose. I mean, like they managed to get Usopp, and like he's the one who's also tough to see, I suppose. Yeah. But I don't know. Like it's, it's cool. I love the teasers. They're always really fun. Uh, and then on that, we ended up did getting the confirmation of a summer Frankie TM character. And then I know that Knight has just stepped in, so he's going to be gassed by the artwork. But uh, we have a summer. Oh Nami. yeah. <laughs> summer Nami. Let's summer, fucking go. <laughs> summer Nami, summer summer Robin, and summer uh, Chopper TM rare recruits for the Frankie TM. Hmm. Yeah, they're actually oh. pretty decent, to be honest. Yeah. So they're not legends, thank God. Um, and I believe someone noted as well, I think it might have been on Twitter or on the subreddit, that they are coming back as characters that are always in the TM batch. Yeah, that was mentioned, that they're, they're going to be returning in some sense later on. So I don't know if it means every banner or... Fingers crossed it's every banner. Some banner, but we'll see. I hope it's every banner. It would be really annoying if it wasn't, but I mean, take with yeah, the grain of salt. They're, I suppose. they're so good. They've got pretty usable support effects as well. Mm-hmm. And uh, Robin is really good in uh, regular content. Yes, so, sir. We Robin, win. <laughs> Robin stands, rise up. Fuck Todd for saying he'd kill Robin. We we stand. We yeah, stand Robin. fuck you, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking frog ski. <laughs> but, <laughs> I thought um. I thought it was a little surprising it took so long to finally get a Frankie TM unit because it's the first one, right? Yep. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you are right. What the hell? Yeah. And yet we have two <laughs> freaking treasure map Morias. We have two Morias. <laughs> I actually forgot Moria already had a TM unit because we got it for free. Yeah, yeah, we didn't actually get the we map. Didn't have to, we didn't have to actually compete in it. So <laughs> I was, cause everyone was saying like, TM Moria, TM Moria already exists. I'm like, no, he fucking doesn't. <laughs> and I was like, I was looking at like, because you know how I handle, I like, I I write up like the TM rankings. I'm yeah. like, looking, and I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm stressing out because I'm like, so I forget to do the rankings for TM Moria. <laughs> and I was like, lose one night. I'm like, sat in bed like two a.m. I'm like, holy fuck, I forgot to do the <laughs> rankings for TM Moria. I'm the worst, <laughs> you know. And I'm like, because like I've been starting to plan the award show, so I've been like scrolling back through content. And I like went and read the uh, like I went and read the news post. I was like, "Oh, Moria and Hyogoro are going to be given out for free." Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, okay, I'm not a moron. Like, just sometimes I am." I, I mean, you still are, but yeah, yeah. I mean, exactly. You know, you're yeah, exactly right. you dead yeah. shit, <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Nights on smoke today. I guess he had a bad day at work. No, that's good. All right, there you go. Huge. Um, <laughs> units are good. Like. The banners, ah, uh, I fucking hate the banner. I just looked at it properly. It's kind of weird, man. And I think that in, you in noted as well that like Bon Clay is like recommended for the intrusion fight, which is Bro, I was crazy. dying when I saw yeah. that. Like they have structured this treasure map in such a shit way that an older treasure map legend is the recommended unit to use for the fight. <laughs> like it's right. actually so bad. <laughs> Um, it, yeah, so like they they released and made this like whole treasure map focused around these summer straw hats when a majority of them are psy characters, and then the Toby Ropo batch, which came out a couple <laughs> that's months, what I mean. a couple of weeks prior, <laughs> a strength decks quick strength related. Strength decks and quicks, they don't work. <laughs> like they just don't work together. It's so bad. <laughs> what was the what point? Are they like they, what are they, they doing? They literally designed it by throwing darts at a dartboard. And I'm just <laughs> noticing on the rate boosted characters, we didn't mention it, but there was also an ulti rare recruit and mm -hmm. a uh, page one rare recruit. But only the ulti rare recruit is rate boosted, which is very frustrating. I, I know they do it normally, but it's, it still annoys me a lot. Like, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, they did that last month where, um, like, uh, Heat and Wire were boosted, but Beppo wasn't. Yeah. Look, I don't know where you'd pull. I'll pr for, I, I, I would say part one's probably the best. Mm, yeah, probably. Part three. I mean, if you know that Bon Clay, like yeah, you have to pull <laughs> part three, right? Yeah. You know, well, you have to. Sorry, but like, yeah, it's preferable to pull on part three, I suppose. 
part three. So part one has some good legends. Um, I don't know. Pull if you want. Don't pull if you don't. Like, it's a TM banner. I think you're all already custom to exactly what every freaking banner is anyway these days. So, uh, there is a login campaign bonus thing, which I feel like they're going to be, they're doing a lot these days. These extra login bonuses on top of, um, on top of the regular stuff as like bonus things. So that's fun. And I guess yep. we'll get to the, yeah, we'll get to the nice. main point that Todd has actually been in this episode for six plus Katakuri V2. He's next. Bruh, it's time. About time, to be honest, if I'm being real. About time. Uh, I'm, I'm so excited for it because not only is it just a super evolution, but level limit break on top of it. Oh yep. man. He might become it's good gonna again. Be, it's going to be so good. I cannot wait. So what is it now? It's so he's so still V two. Oh, that ah uh, V two Shanks still hasn't got his six plus. No, and he's technically the oldest character now. So maybe they will give it to him. I, yeah, during, I was expecting his one to be the uh, from red. Well, Gloofy, you forgot. He doesn't count <laughs> legally. He doesn't exist. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. And then all but, the movie characters as well. So, well, I'm excited. It's a, the, the Katakuri when it came out was fucking sick. So hopefully they're able to like give him like the Doflamingo treatment of like, if there's probably. NAO, he does something else. Yep. Fingers yeah. Fingers crossed they do at least. Otherwise, cringe. I'll be <laughs> kind of imagine like, they make him better than the V4. <laughs> that's not hard. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, that's not say, that hard. I was going to say that yeah. he's going to... Imagine they just buff the effect. <laughs> they they make it more damage, <laughs> but it doesn't go. Yeah, like here's more damage. <laughs> they still don't do no NAO shenanigans, but yeah, he does oh, more damage now. <laughs> Bro, I'd be so, mad. That'd be so shit. My one is limit break plus as well, and I go oh, at one fifty. He's already set. He's already. I know. Prepared. I'm, I'm good to go. I can't wait. Prepare for disappointment. Kill this guy. I know. Also, so I want to. I want to be very annoyed. The obtainable. Uh, materials for TM. Uh, there's no special tablets, so no. Really? At least, Ew. at least from the drops, like slot bind, uh, pinch healing, recovery bind, provoked attack, special uh, cooldown reduction at the start of the quest, and int shield. Ew. So there's no special int tablets, shield. which is dumb because like we can't get them otherwise, except if you want to buy them from the gem shop. Um, which you're a moron if you do, but for the, and I get because it's the summertime thing, but they've put the silver, like, like ice cream thing. And then the gold ice cream thing is drops as well. But if I remember Ew. correctly, they're dog shit for EXP. Yes, they are. I think, the gold, <laughs> like, I think the gold one is actually not bad, but the rest of them are terrible. Give me the fucking lobsters, like, man. Did, so did they remove the lobsters? I swear, if they did, I'd be pissed. <laughs> they removed lobsters and replaced it for a worse item. Lovely. <laughs> Literally less XP. <laughs> so... Oh, but it's summertime. It means we uh, can get yes. all the ice. Theming! Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man. I hate it here, man. I hate it here. Oh. oh. All right. That probably does us for regular news. I don't think there's anything else too much there. Fair enough. But in other news... So everyone, into everyone's favorite section. Sorry, in other news. I don't want Knight to slaughter me. Yeah. Um, don't mess. So, <laughs> this guy's on smoke today. <laughs> God damn. Uh, they added level limit break rare recruit posters. So five star posters to the to the Ray gem shop. Oh Ooh, my God. How much do they cost per poster? 10 gems. Nice. Mm, that's really oh. bad. How many gems? Yeah, what did you they get did it? Let me break two. To the, to the Arena suit. Devon. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> if they if they added the legend ones, I would be tempted to be honest. But no, you wouldn't. Not these rare ones. Fuck that. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I would because ten gems is cheaper. <laughs> Just like you're not getting yeah. a legend. <laughs> you're basically gems, getting right? a dupe of the character. Yeah, you're getting a dupe of the character for ten gems. Yeah. Fuck pulling dupes. I'm just pull. I'm gonna buy the posters, man. I, I know that um, a couple a couple of people I've talked to um have started to use all their gold posters on like PvP rare recruits. I get that, but at the same time, my brother in Christ, it's not worth it. Like it's just PvP, I can understand it, but yeah, I'm, I'm deep, just conserving. Though. It's not that deep though. Like, you know, it just yeah. it really isn't. But 
don't buy them because it's fucking stupid. They're the it's rare group posters, like the five no. star ones, and they cost ten gems. Brother, we just got a new Grand Voyage. How many gems do we get from it? Ten. Like the I don't know who's charting the value of gems here, but they're fucked. Um, on top of that, we have a new July Metal Shop. I think it's yep. kind of cringe. I Pretty can't remember. bad. Let me scroll in, scrolling, scrolling. Uh, Luchi, V2 Kaido, Luffy Sanji, and Hawkins for 400 medals. Bruh, if you fucking buy a Legend Hawkins 400 medals, please quit. That's on everything, too. Why yeah, I mean, God forbid. Luchi for 400 is not bad, but. V2 Kaido, yeah. I would say, is like still essential for the quick team. I, yeah, I, I bought it just for the dupe. Yeah. Because uh, mine is not max yet. Uh, you have Quick Beard and V2 Mihawk for 250. You have Bad. V1 Big Mum and V1 Blackbeard for 150. And in the 100 medal tier, you have five of the older swimsuit characters there as well. Yeah, that's cool that they brought them back. I think I was missing the Rebecca Koala and the Baby Five. So I bought all four. I bought all of those, sorry. Yep. Um, nice. Good. Baby Five. Let's fucking go. Pog, pog, pog. <laughs> uh, PvP Rarecruit Pell is out. He's actually pretty good. Yeah, he is good. Very strong dex character. He just does a lot of fucking damage, which is awesome. Yeah, he's uh, a problem. He is. I, I avoid him. He's one of those guys that I genuinely avoid. He does 2x carries attack in damage to one enemy with the highest attack four times. So it's just, he fucking obliterates you. Um, oh, and that, the single match. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, and there's also the boss stages. That's cringe as well. That's so hard. It's it's very challenging. Like It's it's, very it's on par with the Yorog one, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. I'd still say Yorog is the hardest one, personally. you can't bring a side team. You just can't. <laughs> like, with the Yorog, you can't bring a side yeah, he team. Just, yeah, he just destroys you. Um, the, so there was a, uh, here's, here's a fun one for the, for Flame and Knight. In the news post for the Ray Shop update, they listed a legend ticket. They have since oh. released another post that said that the legend ticket was not intended to be in that post. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone was excited for a legend ticket and then uh, Ray like, Shop put, updated and there was no legend ticket. Just put the fucking ticket in the Ray Shop. It's not hard, man. Nah, the balance in the economy of the game. It costs 50,000 points. It's 10 legends worth. Like, are you dumb? Let's go. <laughs> what a joke. I, bro, I get like 34 ray points from my gather island every day. You know how many days that would be? <laughs> like, that's that's over 1,500 days to get enough to buy a legend. <laughs> yeah. Like, <it's, laughs> let me just play the game for the next fucking, I don't know, five years. And then I'll be able to buy one ticket with those ray points. Get out of here, man. And then finally... They have added Limit Break and Limit Break expansions to all the summer units now. So a lot of the older units got Limit Breaks or those that didn't have Limit Breaks before got Limit Breaks and those units that had Limit Breaks got Limit Break expansions. Yeah, they made some of them pretty good. Like Khalifa's pretty good now. Mm -hmm. She actually removes Special Blind because she five has now special a blind. ability. In her crewmate, she removes five turns of Special Blind, Pog. Um, uh, the VV of... has special reverse. Yes. So yeah, they made them pretty good. And also like a bunch of them just got just all the annoying fear, freaking sailor bonus, all that kind of trash. That yeah. Was, you're never going to max out because I don't fucking Not the best anything. expansion list, but it's okay. Yeah, it's just, it just makes sense. Like give everything it needs and call it a day, right? Yep. That's it. Done. All the news is done. But before we get into the questions, we should thank our members. Yay. Yay. Appreciate Thanks it, lads. Money, you idiots. Thanks, guys. No, but we do really appreciate it. If you uh, if you want to support the show, make sure you go down there, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, give us a comment on the video. It helps with the algorithm. But on top of that, all if you want to be a bit more generous and we, you know, you don't have to do this by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, you can support us financially by hitting the join button. There's a bunch of different, there's a bunch of different support tiers ranging at completely different prices. So if you have the means to support, we would greatly appreciate it. And you can definitely pick and choose your your support tier as well. But I want to give a shout out to our good members of Riolan, Stump, 
Dave, the Inhuman, Red Halo, and Dr. Erection, our great members of My Drunken Monkey, Cody, and Void Seeker, our perfect member of Kisa, and our four GGP producers of The Lord Shiro, Alex Wisniewski, Portuguese Sosa, and Omni. Thank you very much, guys, for the appreciate it, lads. Support. Mm -hmm. and we do greatly appreciate it thank you thank you with that being said from everyone's favorite section into the ad read into everyone's actual favorite section it's the q a gotta change it up Whoa. i don't know why i call yeah. it an ad read but it basically is an ad read for ourselves you know as per usual if you have any questions you want to send through to us you can send them through to us via our twitter at ggp podcast or our youtube community tab first question comes in from vince Mo. this is uh. for night why do you lie about yeah. your allegiance to Kong during the Godzilla vs. Kong fight or Kong, Kong movie? So who do you support in this in this movie? I support Godzilla. So this is the whole thing. It's some bullshit. So my fucking friend, he, he is under the assumption that for um, he has some fucking fever dream that he and Flame were on the same side, but he <laughs> was with Godzilla and Flame was with Kong and he was thinks that he was with Flame for some reason because everyone in my fucking Discord hates me. So of course he wanted to side against me. Because <laughs> he's a fucking asshole. And fucking Vin Smoke was being a fucking creep in VC and was muted and didn't say anything and he just happened to hear that and then he left without saying anything so fuck you Vince Smoke <laughs> you piece of shit well, well, uh, well to clear it up because I have good memory when we were watching that movie I remember I was the only person I was going for him everybody else was going for Godzilla no it's you and Will Will, uh, Will yeah. was going for Tom yeah, it was you and Will and me and me awkward for Godzilla. Yeah. There you go. So fuck Vince yeah. Smoke is the sentiment from today. Yeah, fuck so you. From, I mean, next question. This one's also a sus one because always Portuguese Sosa questions are always very sus. Oh, here we go. <laughs> All right, boys, time for another wild suggestion. Would you rather eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with raw onion inside or Oreos dipped in salsa. Also, night is still the goat. Take care. Oreos and salsa. I think Oreos I'd probably do that too. Because I yep. think it's just... Yeah, all right. I'm glad we're all I, on the same page here. I, uh, I've actually never eaten a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Neither so have I. I don't, I don't even know if crazy. it's even good. Oh, night. That's crazy. Night, tell us about yeah, your, your food adventures. You went and tried chicken shawarma the other day. How did that yeah, go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was. That shit was crazy. Was, I got the spicy. Oh, yeah. So um, I got a spicy chicken. That shit oh, was insane. It was beating go. my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was so scared. I was like, That's fuck, me. this is too hot. Man was going to die. Man thought it was all over. <laughs> Started seeing the light. He's like, oh, I got to go. <laughs> my people need yeah, me. I didn't even. I couldn't even finish it in one sitting. I had to save the rest for the next day, but yeah, Delicious. it was worth it. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, man, so that's so one off the two. list. <laughs> what was it for? Right. <laughs> I said my man said take two next day. <laughs> <laughs> round, round two. Round two, man. All right, there you go. I'm glad we're on the same page here. Next question from Devin Definitive Zach. He asks, if you could replace any one of the straw hats with any character in One Piece, who are you kicking out and who are you putting in and why? Well, I'm fucking... Um, I'm punting Chopper. <laughs> just for the sake of it. But you need another doctor. Fucking... I don't know. Law. Law. Done. Law. Oh, fuck That's God. free. <laughs> Easy. Free. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, Straw has yeah, just yeah, leveled right. up. Straw has just leveled the fuck up. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I don't know about y'all, but Chopper's getting deuced. Law's being put in. Yep. That's free. Yeah, that's free actually. There's there's yeah. I don't think there's I don't think there's a better answer to that I'm question. I'm so than glad all we're this. all like, Yeah, GG feel the same. We're a team we're a team today. You know, we're doing we're doing our thing today. All right. Glad we got that out of the way as well. Next question from the Lord Shiro. He asks, Do any of you have a game you know tons about but have never played yourself? For me the answer is yes, and it's Detroit Become Human. 
Is there a game you guys have not played but know a ton about? Bloodborne. Uh, nice. Resident Evil 8. Nice. 2022 OPTC. <laughs> 20, 2020 Beyond Treasure Cruise. Stay plugged in. Yeah, I'm definitely one of those people that consumes more content than actually plays the game. So, like, I, I just know a lot about a ton of games, but I've never fucking played yeah. any of them. Same thing with, like, anime. It's like, I've never consumed any of these <laughs> these anime, but it's like, you ask me, I'm like, yeah, I know it's good or bad. Just from, like, the grapevine. Or just Flame telling me if it's good or bad. You know, just, it all makes sense, right? Yeah. Next question. I have a from- question oh. for you guys. All right, here all we right. go. Pop off. So, I was thinking about this at work. So, you know how, like, in like the two thousands and shit, we have like a whole bunch of like vampire movies, like um, yep. Twilight Underworld. and all that shit, Underworld, and you know vampires are hot, but can <laughs> werewolves and other monsters be considered hot without you being a furry? No, that's a real question. <laughs> no, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I figured it's on. Because you're some... attracted. You're attracted to the human part, right? Or are you attracted the... to the werewolf Wait, part, brother? Brother, that's, that's, some, that's some fucking Joba shit, and I'm not on that wavelength. Man. <laughs> I, 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 no, I got a question. Why the fuck were you thinking about that? That's word? what I'm saying, man. That's <laughs> some such shit. About a GGP. No, I'm saying some of the GGP question. I, I don't know about that, big fella. Right. <laughs> Man's, think, man's thinking about fucking whatever his name was. Tyler from fucking, I don't know, from, from, from Twilight Man, whatever that guy's name was. Fucking, he's a hot ass werewolf dog. I'm a king of zero Greek man. That's what he's thinking about. I don't know where Knight's head's in the fucking. Taylor that, that's it. Taylor Lawton. I call him fucking Tyler lad. We're saying shit, right? Both teammates. Fucking, that's why Knight's on smoke today. He was thinking about Taylor Lawton. I'm like, damn. You kind of hate. <laughs> all right here's a question though can you can you call the pre-werewolf form hot if you're not going to call the werewolf werewolf form hot uh what do you know how like, <laughs> ta- like <laughs> taylor 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 lautner right taylor lautner he has to turn into a werewolf right sure yeah so the pre-werewolf form is him ripped jacked as shit it looking hot uh-huh. as fuck but if we're gonna say we can't call the werewolf hot are we allowed to call the pre-werewolf hot because mm. he's still technically a furry if you call the pre-form hot <laughs> technically because he still is a werewolf he's just in his human form i hate it here <laughs> i'm just I saying mean, but there's no fur there's no fur it's kind of I mean, like you, uh, where are you uh, looking that's all i'm saying it's anyway like- next Next question. <laughs> Next question. It's getting, Next question. It's getting too deep. Yeah, I'm just saying, bro. My brain be doing this kind of stuff all day. Next question. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. Next question. Remember, at TWG underscore kid underscore Valima. That's probably butchered your name there. I haven't seen enough episodes to know if this has been asked. But if you were to compare the game when you first joined uh, to how it is now, would you still have begun playing it back then? And to add to this question, do you think new players now have a much better experience than we did at the beginning of the game back then? It seems more uh, reward friendly to new players now than it was, uh, which is understandable. Hmm. Yeah, the game is much better now than it was back then. And if you disagree with that, then you're just wrong. Yep. I agree. Like um, the game was way less rewarding back in like 2016, 17. Oh yeah, yeah, but cheap so, gems existed though. So, so yeah, it's no, definitely it's definitely easier. It's definitely easier for newer players to get into the game. Yeah, but I, even even though like it the game was way more ass back then. In a way, I felt like it was a little more fun. I don't know why. <laughs> I liked it because it was like it was just weird. Like the, a lot of like the times like clearing shit was hard as fuck though. That was like I think that was kind of yeah. the reward of it. Like I still remember my first time clearing Whitebeard Forest. I was like, we were like at a concert, and I was like in the hotel room like beforehand, like the night before. And I remember I, I took a, <laughs> I I wrote up because I was using like I think it was like, I was using like the double like raid anal strap. I typed out like <laughs> a guide on a notepad, 
and I took a, f I, rather than typing it on my phone, I took a photo of the notepad on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> and every stage I'd refer to the, I'd, I have to like go to the photo. All right, I have to pop this special on this. And it's just like, I remember clearing it. Oh, I was, I was running around. And I was like, yeah, yeah. This fucking, all this shit, yeah, man, fucking crazy, white bitch bro. shit, man. But it was sick though, because like, yeah. there, there was a, I think there was a different kind of reward back then. Cause there was a there was a much better feeling of clearing content back then as opposed to now. Now everything just feels like it's on a conveyor belt and you're just consuming it all, just back to back to tell, back. There's no reward in clearing anything. Tell me, tell me the last piece of content that you cleared that was as satisfying as clearing your first forest. Wait, can you repeat them? I said, tell me the last piece of content that you cleared that made you feel as satisfied as you did when you cleared your first few forests. Uh, I, don't I mean, to be honest, voyage. the local sea monster Grand Voyage level five, I was pretty satisfied with that. Yeah, you were, you were, you were, you were working at that. I know. Sure. Oh, it's just because the uh, amount of investments it required. Oh, uh, it took me. Well, it came out, and then it probably took me about a week or two before the reset. So it probably took me a oh, month wow. and a half yeah but also because you're limited the, by your yeah but you're limited yeah i didn't by have the, the investment i had the characters the i just didn't though. have the investments yeah right. but the like, first I time i beat white bid forest was kind of cracked too because i beat it with gear, with gear three and it was really hard that that feeling is like second to none you know yeah like, i feel like all the grand voyage stuff like i get excited when i like when i got like level five on like one of the quests i'm like oh, okay fucking sick like that's done but then like that that <laughs> feeling kind of just like dissipates completely I guess because, like, getting philosophical, like, the whole, like, spark of Treasure Cruise has kind of, like, really diminished in recent years, where mm -hmm. it's just, like, you're in the content mill consistently. Like, there's no, like, there's no real, like, time to theorycraft a team and try it out and this and that. And I guess that's the whole point of Grand Voyage. But, I mean, even then, like, Grand Voyage got fucking destroyed in, like, six hours, you know? Like, literally, From day one, everyone's like, you need level 150, V1, Usopp, 6 plus, and then day two, there's 24 videos out. No one's using them anymore. Yep. And it just gets remember, easier to clear. Remember back in the day when you'd be on that last stage and like you start sweating, you're like, oh, shit, Bro, I got all these perfects. Yeah, I, I missed that one perfect <laughs> moment. <laughs> Bro, I, I, as the amount of times I probably should have broken my phone by just pegging it or some shit because I'd fuck up the final stage. It's too many, man. That uh, I'd, I'd break, I'd lose my mind. I get to the the only time I reckon I probably did that white bit forest like over a hundred times before clearing. Feels that way, <laughs> yeah. And you get to the final stage, and you'd fuck up the, you'd fuck up like uh, one special. Don't kill, you die. And you just sit there in silence for like <laughs> twenty minutes, and you're like, I hate, I hate. Why, why do I exist? Like, <laughs> what, what, why am I alive? Yep, then you gotta run it back. You gotta, you gotta go run it back. First ten stages. Oh. Uh, I would say like old Treasure Cruise also was like more hype in a sense because like you would pull up like especially if you started like when it started you have these dick ass East Blue characters <laughs> and then you see yep. Clash Mihawk it's like yo Mihawk oh that's my fucking guy that is hype <laughs> as fuck I gotta get him nope beat your ass <laughs> and stage times. you come in stage 5 you get hit with that 5k it's like oh yeah I'm the free <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah you're like what am I meant to do how do I beat that <laughs> you know yeah look I, I I think I think it was a different kind of rewarding back then yeah. I also think what has ruined Treasure Cruise a lot for me is that we just know all the news before it happens. So there's mm. no excitement. I think the most the the most exciting thing that's happened in recent time was the release of Wano Law. That was it. For me at least. Because yeah. that came out of the blue. Literally, I remember I still remember what I was watching Todd's stream. And I remember the news came out at like 12.30, which is like our time. News happened at like one. The reset happens, or like the news clock happens at 1 p.m. And I remember I was watching Todd yeah. stream at like 12.30. Chat is just going, one of laws come to global. One and everyone's like, holy fuck. Like that was the sickest like moment in recent time. Other than that, that like just the fact that like, oh, we know the characters coming out. We know what, that we, what they do as people that have played the game for a long time, you can gauge the quality of the character fairly well. Like, 
you don't have to always pull because you know that like oh i didn't pull for black maria but she's now available on part one of the tm banner even though her rate is you know lower but like you you know like it's i feel like yeah. there, like there's less excitement so i do agree like the hype is the thing that's kind of like the drawback because we know everything that comes out oh not everything sorry but like the majority of things that come out we're already across them before they come out and we're already like analyzing and looking at like whether they're good or bad or whether the content's hard or easy and such yeah and and for me well this is also just part of me being ignorant back then to reddit but back then i didn't really i didn't use reddit or discord at all so like whenever mm. stuff got announced i just found out about it like in the game news yeah you know what i blame todd so ever since i started watching todd's videos hype's gone that guy fucking knows the news man it's kind of scary not all this the time. fucking guy this fucking guy i used to be excited piece about of stuff, shit then i log in the fucking night is not nice thinking about <laughs> taylor Lautner too much because that's what he's fucking doing. <laughs> but like i don't know man it's like yeah fuck, yeah fuck you todd actually i used to get excited for shit and then i'd wake up the next day and todd has a video in my sub box saying the v2 mihawk's coming out and i'm like what the fuck <laughs> i'm like what the hell you know and then there you go but it's like you have to i mean it's the it's the content cycle right but i don't know like i i, I just wish that they didn't put things in the game as early as they did but at the same time it's just better for us as well so not just like pulling on every single banner is yeah is. the um the like the merge with japan side of things is like it's good in in a lot of senses but i also kind of prefer the other method of like japan getting it first and then us seeing what, yep. what's happening and then we get global first stuff sometimes and that's super exciting and i don't know can but like you, yeah it, it's not as hype can you believe that we used to get mad at global banners being bad <laughs> yeah I feel like I'm and then we go what, what we got now <laughs> and now we get exactly i feel like a fucking idiot for getting mad at these customized global banners that were like clearly better than the jp banners like nine times out of ten and now we just have dick cheese banners all the fucking time <laughs> and it's very frustrating <laughs> all right next question from the donkey 69 they ask if all of you guys fought who would win this is a tough question. Um, it would be probably down between me and Pappy. Yeah, you've got big boy strength here. Yeah. Damn, yeah, bro. sorry, sorry, not in flame. You guys are going down. You guys are going down. All right, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back for round two, gear five, baby. Oh, shit. Here it's on, like Donkey Kong. <laughs> yeah, like yes, the donkey, sir. like the, the Donkey Kong. I think Todd would... I, I think, like, I got fighting experience, but I think Todd would just fucking... I've I've seen Todd. He's a fucking big lad. Kind of scary. Good guy. <laughs> kind of intimidating though. Just a big teddy bear. <laughs> fucking grizzly bear. More like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question. Forgiven relief. Nippity, I think it is. Sorry, I always pronounce his name wrong. Ask what other gotchas are you guys playing right now? We'll leave flame to last because he probably is playing sixty five um, of them. No, <laughs> How much time you got? <laughs> nah, I'm, 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 I'm actually. Nah, I'm leaving your dumbass yeah. to last flame because you always play okay. a lot. Of them. <laughs> <laughs> Knight, are you playing anything at the moment? No, <laughs> my guy, Todd. Anything in your wheelhouse? Um, Treasure Cruise is the only gotcha, but I am playing Diablo Immortal. Yeah, I just a dropped hundred k on Diablo Immortal. No stress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy, Max. easy. <laughs> That's so I'm playing Flame Diablo Mortal a little bit, and that's it for now. There we go. Flame? Um, I'm only playing right now Dokkan and Alchemy Stars. Um, the anniversary to, just happened on Blue Dokkan. Archive. What happened to all those weird ones? You stop playing them? I haven't played that in that long. Damn. It'd be like that sometimes. Um, I am playing... Uh, I'm waiting for this new one to come out, though. I played the beta for it. It, um, I think Todd's a little familiar with it. It's Tower of Fantasy. That, that game looks fun. One. Yeah, I played the demo for it. it it's basically Genshin, but it's it was pretty it's pretty good. I like the... It's on PC as well, so you don't got to play it on your phone. Nice. 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 Yeah. I'm playing fucking nothing. I'm not even playing no. Trader Cruise, to be honest with you. <laughs> leaving, that the best. Auto. leaving that shit on auto <laughs> that's it all right next, <laughs> next question from nexus underscore father 
This guy's a dad. He asks. <laughs> they ask, sorry. Unfortunately, I couldn't think of a good question, but I still wanted to comment on this post to say that I absolutely love this podcast. It's very entertaining to listen to all the news, facts, jokes, and opinions throughout the episodes. Thank you, GGP uh, podcast team. I also especially want to thank Toski for he is one of the reasons I started playing this game. I didn't really start playing this game regularly until I saw his content and what the game was was packing, like me, what I'm packing. Hey, yo. And he, and he, yo. And he also <laughs> is the first OPGC focus channel I subscribe to. Thanks, Totsky. I'm currently pirate level 490 and still passionate about the game. All thanks to you. Have an awesome day, lads. That's a very That's sweet awesome. message. You're yeah, appreciate that, Nexus. Noob. Good stuff. Nah, That's nah, awesome. He's a fucking noob. For level oh, yeah, 490. He, he, yeah, you nah, you gotta, you gotta hit at least 600, lad. man. Mid, nah, I'm fucking, <laughs> well, I'll bring it to 800, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm changing it. 800 <laughs> is the tutorial limit. Nah, I kid. Uh, nah, it's a fucking awesome ass message. We greatly appreciate that. I'm glad we can provide an entertaining talk show as our youtube description says uh as Appreciate you all know that. gentlemen the final question from this fucking jabroni every time it's cody peanut butter burger boy he's a married cody's married he's a married man who yes, is married the peanut butter burger yeah. boy your wife must be crazy in love with you Hey guys, as always, thank you for the work that you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucked. My head's gone, man. Um, I'll be honest, I've been thinking a lot lately about quitting OPTC. I just find that I haven't really been enjoying it. If anything, it's the community and friends that I'm not wanting to leave behind, so we shall see. Regardless, my plan going forward, whether I stay or go, is to remain in contact with the pod. On another note... Highly recommend checking out Snowflake Mountain on Netflix. That shit is hilarious. Okay. Without further ado, let's get into these foodie questions. All right. Pickles. Love them or hate them? Terrible. God, love. Hate. Damn, this giant does the American. Of course, yeah. the Americans love them. Of course, they do. Shit, man. <laughs> Co- Cody is in love with them. How toasty do you like your toast? He's a lightly toasted fella. Uh, medium to well. Yeah, I'd agree. Yeah, I say I'm the same. Yeah, like medium or lightly is fine. A little caramel esque kind of color, you know the vibe. <laughs> uh, how many chicken wings would slash could you eat in one sitting, assuming assuming not heavily breaded? He said he can do twenty to thirty. That's crazy. Look, man, yeah. I could. I have a. This is gonna sound fucking like cringe. But I have a I have a, a a chicken wing eating technique for both the flap and the drumstick. So I can just, I, I, yeah, exactly. So I can just like you can like if you <laughs> hold the wing at like a particular point, you can like pause on this one, put the whole wing in your mouth, and it's like hey yo, <laughs> you can like tear the wing out, and all the meat off the wing just comes off. So you just get a one single swoop, and then with the with the drumstick, you like revolve it, and it's like zhoot, and all the meat comes off. So I could probably bink out like 30 plus as well. It depends. Are these like, I, I assume that they're normal size, not like super small, not large wings. I assume just average size wings. I would say average size wings. I think it's safe. I think I could probably only do 10. Not a wing guy. Um, I like I wings, but do, not too many. I could do somewhere between 10 to 20. Mm. Mine's going to say like 600. Hey, that's racist. But I'll probably do like 20. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Cancel him. Cancel him. Bro. Quick. Twitter. Twitter. Get him. <laughs> what are you? How many? How many few? Sorry, night. Yeah, I would say I'm like in the like 20s range. Probably. Wing, okay. eat, wing eating contest when we one day meet up. It'll happen. Oh, or yeah. Not. And finally, what is the weird weirdest food combo you've ever experienced could be eaten by you or someone else in and he says in middle school my cousin used to eat buttered toast with heaping loads of sugar on it that's a hard no for me that sounds delicious Uh, yeah i've heard of that before that's not super uncommon that's just butter and sugar so every dessert item bro they're trying to bake a cake that's what he said in middle school my cousin used to eat buttered toast with heaping loads of sugar on it that's a hard oh. no from me. That's okay, cake, I, man. I, Bread, like, that's literally cake. Like, yeah, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. How can this I, guy I have your audacity? Bad, but 
the audacity for this guy to say peanut butter burgers taste delicious, but bread you haven't butter, had and, them. But I'm not gonna let you slander them but, anymore. But bread, I'm not butter, and it. sugar doesn't. I'm not is, and no, it. cake is I'm made out of flour, it. butter, and sugar. It's the same components that bread's made out of, and this whole entire food is. It's the same. It's poor man's cake. Um, I will not get of... off this high horse. <laughs> No, what are some weird food combos you guys have tried or somebody else in fr around you has tried? To give you guys some time to start, my parents like eating watermelon and feta cheese. Oh, wow. In, uh, in, Leb in Lebanese bread. <laughs> like in pita bread, essentially. There's, um... Okay. There's a place... There's a place by me called Dirty Taco and they basically have, like, a, a very wide arrangement of tacos and I had a watermelon taco. Oh my god! It was, it was actually it was actually really good. <laughs> Dirty taco is a pause, but we'll let it slide. Um, what was on the what was on the watermelon taco? I can't even think of any weird combos, but I know that my sister um will sometimes like mix different condiments together to make like an nah, ultra sauce that's that fuck, she uses. That's fuck, that, like if, like hate... ketchup, mustard, aioli, nah, soy sauce. I hate that shit, man. I used to do that shit as a kid, like restaurants for fun, and you like dare your cousins to eat it or whatever. But if you do that shit on the on the low ski just for your own meals, yeah, nah, I can't. Weird. That's kind of weird. <laughs> All right, um, I think the only thing that comes to mind is like, like dipping like a fry in ice cream or some shit. I feel like those go kind of crazy. Do you guys? I, I you, hope people talk about that, but it, like it sounds good. I've, I've tried never tried it. Though. I might try that like this afternoon. Why not? I'll get it's a actually shake, solid. Yeah, get some what fries. Was it, man? Milkshake and fries. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I've never tried that, but I know a lot of people mention. People also that. say the uh, the soft serve and fries also works too. Like some people put fries in their burger. That's not bad. I've tried that. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's fries fine. in your burger. That's that's. that's I've got peanut butter on my burger once. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's it. When you go to McDonald's next, just have like a tub of peanut butter with you, so you just open it. Right, here's just slather some in. Here's the plan. AX twenty twenty three. Todd and I are coming up. Done. I already oh, I already cool. put it in Todd's mind. He has to do it now. We've, we've put it out here. Fine. We're come we're coming to AX next year. Knight's gonna pull up as well. And we're gonna record a live podcast. And we're all going to eat a peanut butter burger. Oh, let's fucking go. I'm down. <laughs> if I vomit, <laughs> he's so Nights cleaning, Nights cleaning it up. If <laughs> he dies, he dies. <laughs> if I die, I don't know, man. You guys can finally get paid for GGP. That's about it. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, <finally. laughs> thanks to always, gents. The work that you put in is always greatly appreciated. Much love, your boy, Cody in Canada. Thank you, Cody. Um, That's us. A little bit of a shorter ep today, but like... As we said, you know, we're trying to move away from just reading off Legends pretty consistently and making it more short, sharp, and sweet, I suppose. Uh, I mean, and then then again, Treasure Cruise didn't really release that much news or content in the last month, so which is kind of upsetting, but I mean, it is what it is. We're getting... I'm assuming the next Treasure Cruise app is going to be very jam-packed yeah, with uh, new stuff, and we'll be talking about Film Red probably as well, and... You know, a lot, of, a lot of content to cover there. But, you know, as per usual, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you go down there, hit the hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to support us. And if you're feeling financially risky, you know, you can invest in the GGP stock because it's, it's kind of <laughs> actually plateauing at the moment. So, you know, invest now. You know, make some money, right? <laughs> but uh, no, we do <laughs> really appreciate all the support. Thanks to all the members today as well. Um, if you want to find out more, you can go to the description. You can find our link tree links, uh, all of our links combined together. That is L I N K T R dot E E forward slash great perfect. There you can find all of our socials. So our Twitter, our GP podcast, and you can find us on anchor FM forward slash great perfect. There you can find us on what we realized is actually like every podcasting platform in the world. Pretty much GGP is available. I didn't know that, but it is. If you want to listen on fucking let's go. Just in podcast, yeah, we're there probably. I don't know. It's it, they're stealing out, they're stealing our content, not giving us any credit for it. What, what was I saying? What was the platform that we're top five percent in the world in? I don't uh, know. I don't remember the name. Oh, let me see if I can find. We're top five percent in Listen Notes podcast. Oh. August, <laughs> huge, there right? There you go. We're, we're very Everyone's popular on that front. 
Um, but <laughs> everyone's heard of Listen Notes podcast, top five percent in the world, baby. Because there's only five podcasts on the platform. So, um, <laughs> 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 but uh yeah you can find us on the main platforms there being spotify apple Podcasts, and google Podcasts as well um and then also in the description make sure you go down to all of our socials flamvius nightmare jp and toski and myself captain puppy uh go follow us go subscribe go donate money i don't know do all that kind of fun stuff as well right uh with that being said though i've been captain puppy flame knight and Todd. Thank you for listening to our episode. Talk to you guys next time. Peace. Bye. Bye. Bye.